my top five uh, Photoshop tools for retouching. That's what we're gonna talk about today uh, on this video. Uh, and I will also show to you a, a quick way on how I use those tools. And uh, it's kinda cold right now here in LA, so I'll just uh, get my sweater and we'll start on it, okay? And there you go, got my sweater, we're ready. Uh, I will go to my computer and I will show you the five uh, Photoshop tools that I use for retouching. And you guys are ready, I'm ready, so let's get this thing going, okay? First tool is the spot healing brush tool, which is this one. This one right here. Yeah. Spot healing brush is um, like a, this is good for uh, removing uh, blemishes, small blemishes on the face uh, without sam uh, sampling uh, other pixels. Like you can just go directly paint it on, on the part that you want to heal it. So let's uh, start with that by. Uh, Creating a new layer, and then um, yeah, make sure that your, your spot hidden brush is uh, set to uh, current and below. And uh, yeah, we'll start uh, turning this out. The next tool is the, the healing brush, which is this one. Uh, it's almost the same as the spot healing brush, but here you have to uh, specify. Uh, which pixel that you want to sample uh, the healing brush usually you will, you will sample it in a, in a clean uh, spot pressing out and then click let's say on this part and then fill in this part and that's how it works like that. Yes, you sample it first like which part you want to to reference that um, that pixel Works. Okay, and then the the third uh, uh, tool that I love to use when retouching is the patch tool, which is also located on the same uh, tool where the spot and healing brush tool are located. You just right click here, and this is the patch tool. Patch tool right here. So there you go. And usually you use this for, for if you want to, to clean up big spots on the image. Uh, let's say uh, I want to clean uh, this dark spot here. Oh, and before you do that, you cannot, you have to have uh, <coughs> the actual uh, pixel when you're, when you're cleaning this up. You cannot use a, 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 a blank layer like this. So. Uh, we're gonna press Command Alt Shift P to merge those layers. And then we'll start working on our patch tool, like this uh, dark spot right here. We can remove that and then drag it, like that, and then also this part. Okay, and then when we are done with our with our uh, cleaning up, uh, let's see our before and after. There you go. And then we're done with it. Um, another tool that I love to use is the, actually it's a combination of tools, which is the pen tool and the brush tool. Like uh, first I will start with the, with the pen tool, which is right here. Pen tool, click that. And then uh, let's say I want to clean up the excessive uh, hair on this part. Yeah, what's good about pen tool? I can make a precise selection here on my image. I want to try to clean this up. Then right click, make a selection. Uh, Feather radius of three. This is good. Now that we have the selection, um, let's create a new layer and then let's sample that, um, that color right here and then fill that blank layer with that color. Okay. And 
then also on this side. And when we are done, um, we're gonna right click again, make a selection, click that, feather radius at 3, that's okay. And then we'll sample this color again, and then fill that with that color. And if we're gonna turn this off, you were able to remove those uh, excessive uh, hair, and now we have a green background. Our fifth tool is the, the stamp tool, but first we need to uh, use our pen tool to make a selection. And once we make our selection, we're going to invert our selection, and that's when we're going to use our stamp tool to, to clean the, the edges of these eyebrows. I always work on a new layer every time I use the stamp tool, and uh, yeah, and it's always good to, uh, to use a lower opacity when uh, yeah, working on the stamp tool so the, the effect will not be too intense and it will blend better on the, the, on the layers. So I also make sure that you are in current and below sampling when you're doing this in a blank layer. And this is the final image uh, where I use all the five tools that I shared with you guys and uh, I also applied a little skin softening on this which I will be discussing with you guys on my next video on how to soften the skin. And there you have it guys, my five uh, Photoshop tools that I use for retouching. It's a very powerful tool that you can use in almost any type of photography. And uh, yeah, if, if you like this video, I hope you guys will hit that like button. Uh, and if you want me to create more of this kind of videos, uh, you guys can subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, okay?